well, Buddy hasn't been uh, uh, cleared one way or the other yet, so um, yeah, we, there's a possibility he could be around. But uh, clearly Hawthorne have got um, some great talent in their side. Um, so they're not just a one-man team, and they proved that sort of on the weekend with their performance against the Bulldogs in particular. It was very strong, and um, they're, they're pretty good in all facets of the game, so it's a, a challenge for us. Yeah, Daisy pulled up well. He did uh, remarkably well to, um, to come up. Um, after the injury against Carlton, he, he ran that game out okay, although he's obviously very sore last week. But very rarely do footballers take the field at 100% fitness. You'll hear many coaches talk about that. And at this time of year, it, um, you know, it takes some mental toughness to be able to perform and, and, uh, and do it week after week. <laughs> Wins and losses sort of come from performance, no doubt, but they're also dependent on who you play and when. And um, you know, clearly, uh, Hawthorne's. Recent form's been very strong as well. Um, you come to the pointy end of the year and we've got quite a tough draw coming you know, towards in the next seven rounds. Um, you know, starting with starting with the game against Carlton, you know, probably West Coast coming straight out of the bye four weeks ago. Um, you've got to keep finding the right physical and emotional intensity to, to perform week in, week out. It's not hard to get up for a, for a game like this. Um, where you've got a quality opponent who, have, who are probably the benchmark of the competition at the moment, they'll probably be saying the opposite um, about us, but the fact is that they're number one in offence, they're, um, they're number two defence in the competition and, and they're very good at contested ball. So they've, uh, they've excelled in all, on, in all areas of the game and it just becomes um, a great challenge because of that. Oh, look, it's, it's changed, personnel changes and um, the game changes so quickly you know, these days. So. Um, we are, we are a different side to round one. You know, a lot of the faces, some of the faces are different, a lot of the faces are the same. Um, but you go, you've gone through different experiences, every side's gone through different experiences and you either grow from it or you, or you struggle with it. Um, we, we believe we, we've grown and we're growing. Um, we believe we're getting a, a greater understanding of what our best football looks like. and you know, a, a, an opponent like Hawthorne uh, on a week like this is an opportunity to test that. Yeah, look, Dorsey's, um his work rate's been excellent. Um, there's obviously been a fair, fair deal of focus on his performances over the year. He's um, understanding and adjusting to that second ruck roll and, and being able to go in and pinch hit to, to give Joel's the um, breathers throughout the game. And I think that, that takes some adapting. Uh, he probably played his, his best game for a couple of months on the weekend and we're looking for him to build on that. Yeah, it's the topic of the day, isn't it? Um, I, I think it's the right thing to go to the tribunal and, and um, you know, I believe Juddy's going to get to get his opportunity to, to share his thoughts on, on what happened and really until, until you hear that, it's all speculation on sort of what he was trying to achieve. <laughs>